Hey guys, it's Goyer from Amen14, and we finally got Age of Discovery, guys. So I figured I would go ahead and show you what my server and my family is up to here and give you guys some pointers on what to focus on, how to optimize in the event, and obtain the most resources. So whenever you start, you will start, of course, here at this camp. And I want to highlight that it's very important that you get this gear in this uh, at the top of the screen, the flagship level. You really want to increase that as quick as possible before you start attacking the guards. And that is because you need to get your crew members here. You really need to activate your blitz assault at the minimum and try to get, you know, one of your vital pals for the class that you're using. That's going to help you a lot and not dying because a few people on my server definitely made the mistake of kind of rushing out there. They had no skills. They had no pals and they were even dying sometimes on open tiles. So make sure that early on before you really try to attack any guards, use your iron ingots here to get you some decent gear and upgrade your flagship there at the top of the screen and get your crew basically your skills and pals set up there you can also upgrade this here which is very similar to your buildings in your shroomy farm so whenever you get these timbers here make sure that you're upgrading this because not only is it going to give you better afk rewards but it's going to help you with your damage against the guards and that seems to be the biggest problem early on that I'm noticing that players are having. They feel like they're just kind of dying to the guards. And that will be solved by you getting better gear for your ship and better crew members. So when you start the event here, you want to take these resources, of course. And when your server is kind of established... Um, in a way that uh, kind of looks like this. My server is kind of just going crazy and taking every tile, basically. The first thing that we focused on was we pushed up to the level 1 resource, then we pushed left to this island, and we gradually moved toward these ruins here. So we went from camp, level 1 resource, island, island, level 2 resource, then to ruins, and then everything kind of broke down to the other level one resources down there and up here. And of course, you'll see here that we have eight people guarding this level two resource. And this is exactly what you should be doing because you obtain better rewards when you are guarding a location. And the higher level the location is, the better rewards for your AFK that you will get right here and so you're probably wondering you know your server has established all the tiles you know you've opened all the locations and what should you do with your extra action points here i wouldn't recommend you using all your fuel you might need that later you know um it'll still regenerate as long as you don't use your fuel to hit the 10 out of 10 so you have some extra action points you can go here and you can sweep for ingots. Of course, there, your merit will cap at 1,000. So just make sure that every day, if you're wanting to compete in the rankings, that you are reaching 1,000 merit. So I'll sweep there. We'll do our usual thing to get our ingots. And you'll see here that nobody is above 1,000 right now because that's the max amount that you can obtain per the maritime handbook so let's get in here i believe it's somewhere in here so you can see that your daily limit here in the pve merit rules that you can only receive 1000 per day from your guards from your city elite your ruins and your monsters you can obtain more also from pvp but of course on day one we won't have access to that First, you need to get through your level one base. Then you will get to this second inner circle that on the bottom right, you see the white triangle there. 
we're still kind of in this inner circle type location on the map. And so we won't be fighting quite yet, but you'll take out your level two base. You'll move out to this portion here. And then once you break through this level three base, then you're kind of more into the PVP area, right? You can see here that there's a shared area between these two. Or I guess not. I guess um, the map's a little misleading there. So these aren't bases, so you don't have to worry about that. It will be this center location then, where you will fight in the open sea over the bases, over the city, and over the level 5 resources. So overall, you want to make sure also that you are collecting your AFK rewards, because that will allow you to roll for more gear and get stronger. Push your flagship up as quick as possible, so that, of course, you know, you can have more skills and pals for your build, and you can get better gear here that will help you against the guards. So the way that this kind of works, I did this for an example. I did have a purple one here, but you can see this is a level 9 blue. And then you can see a level 7 here. So you can see that the percentage value is lower. The attack is lower. And of course, they have a different other substat. So, but you can see it's a substantial increase. It's more important at this point to go for a level you really don't want to just get a bunch of purples or a bunch of yellows for example because if it's like a level four yellow and you get a level nine blue like this chances are the blue is still going to be better so i really wouldn't focus on the quality too much for your gear early i would more focus on the level and you know kind of cherry pick your stats and try to get the best advantage for attacking your guards. But please make sure that you are AFKing on these locations. So I'm trying to get people on my server doing this now. You can see we have 38 people in our camp, which, of course, there's not enough. You can have eight people per resource. There's not really enough to cover all of that, but you, you see there's still seven defense spots here. There's one there, there's seven down here at the level one, actually there's eight at that level one resource. So you definitely want to be filling up these resource spots so that you can be getting more AFK rewards. It's very similar to Showdown, where it's just in, you go to the event, bottom left of the panel, and you can collect your rewards. Overall, so far, we're having a lot of fun with the event. It is, um, yeah, we have about a 12,000 or so lead. Now, of course, I'm sure other servers are unfortunately doing better than us in general because we have an inactivity pro problem, much like a lot of other servers right now. I really wish they didn't wait until July to do the server merges, given how inactive some of these servers are, including ourselves, I would say. But, you know... We've talked about that quite a bit. There's really nothing that we can do about it. But wait patiently and hope that they do it the right way. So another thing that you can do that say that you're fighting over a resource and you need help there. So you can choose this resource here. Let's see. Or like this, for example. So I can mark this. And then we can share it to this battle chat here. And that will highlight to anyone on your server that's watching the priority tiles that you would like to use. And of course, we have a nice little cross server chat, we'll call it, that will last three weeks. So we'll see if that's active and how interesting that is. But yeah, guys, this is what you should really be doing on the first day of the event, I will make further videos the more that the map kind of breaks out from these circles and goes toward the center. And I'll share what my server and what my family is doing here to help you guys out. But the big priority is to get your resources, guard those resources, 
push towards your ruins, make sure that you're doing those and get up to the bases to prepare for the next reset so you can branch out of this inner circle here. And yeah, guys, make sure that you are upgrading your gear as much as possible and you are upgrading your crew so that you'll be better in fights. The last thing is I would recommend not to miss the lamp skin. It's pretty awesome, right? Um, we're all enjoying it quite a bit. There was a lot of things that this game was missing, but I didn't know that what we were really missing was some mommy milkers under our lamp. So we're all pretty geeked out about it. I'm definitely loving it. And I will be making videos very soon, as quick as I can after the update, after we've optimized, to help you guys kind of move in the right direction. Maybe your server is not really as coordinated, or you're suffering from inactivity like us. I will do my very best to provide the content in a timely manner so that you can make the most out of your day in the event. So guys, this is all that I have for you for the Age of Discovery today. I hope that this really helps, and I will be seeing you very, very soon. So thanks again, guys.